ABC's General Hospital was revealed that Curtis made the difficult decision to sell the save boy to Cyrus. Because the save boy has always been Curtis's passion, he was really sad about this. But before that, Cyrus had offered him a condition to heal his legs. So he agreed to sell. So Curtis warned Cyrus that he had to heal his leg before he could receive the Savoy. Cyrus looked confident and certain it seemed like there was some method of solution to cure Curtis. He accepted this condition without hesitation. This confidence may come from a special technique that Cyrus believes can be applied successfully. Through this negotiation, both have their own benefits. Curtis gets a chance to heal, while Cyrus gets ownership of the Savoy. Was Curtis's choice to trust Cyrus correct? What method will Cyrus use to heal Curtis's leg and what will happen? Meanwhile, Ava is surprised and shocked to learn that the person who bought Windermere was Nicholas. His sudden appearance makes Ava worried about his true intentions. Instead of facing Nicholas herself, Ava decides to entrust Scott to complete the deal quickly. She just wanted to resolve everything as soon as possible and not wanting to get into any trouble or complicated relationship with Nicholas. What Ava wants is only that large amount of money, but Ava isn't sure if Nicholas will forgive her after what had happened before. Ava felt that Nicholas certainly had his own purpose in his decision to buy back Windermere and appear before her again. The meeting between Ava and Nicholas will be tense and will Ava easily get the money from the sale of Windermere from Nicholas, or what purpose does Nicholas really have? Besides, Maxie was happy to see Sasha and Cody happily kissing. She feels happy for this new couple, and Maxie knows that the two of them had to face many difficulties to achieve their current happiness, so she was really happy for them. But right now, Maxie feels lonely. She never had the chance to love someone properly after Nathan died, and this feeling causes Maxie to start thinking about her life. She realizes that this might be the time to find a man who truly loves and respects her, after losing Nathan, Maxie never dared to open her heart to anyone else. Maxie feels a desire to have a complete family. When there is love and care, the most important thing for her is to find someone who is supportive and can build a happy future together. Will Maxie have the love she always wanted? Who will bring the happiness to Maxie and how will things turn out?